March of 2001, over the South Pacific, streaks of light appear overhead. These are the final moments of a pioneer of human spaceflight. April 19, 1971, the Soviet Union admits defeat in the race for the moon. But, having diverted its program, it was ready to launch the world's first space station, Salyut 1. Salyut 1 would be the first of many space stations, and the basic design of the Salyut would be the basis for all continuously operated space stations since. The most advanced Soviet, then Russian, station was Salyut 7, which operated from April 1982 to February 1991, and set numerous endurance records. Salyut 7 was recently the subject of a Russian blockbuster film depicting a harrowing repair job of the aging station. Four years after the launch of Salyut 7, and as it remained operational, the Soviet Union was ready to launch its next generation modular space station named Mir, or Peace, in Russia. Mir has its origins back in 1976, where an improved model of the Salyut DOS 17K space station would be equipped with a total of four docking ports, two at either end of the station, as with the Salyut stations, and an additional two ports on either side of the docking sphere at the front of the station to enable further modules based on a Soyuz design to expand the station's capabilities. By August 1978, this had evolved to the final configuration of one aft port and five ports in a spherical compartment at the forward end of the station. That would allow the famous configuration of Mir in the public imagination. In 1979, the program was consolidated with the Almaz Military Space Station program, itself using derived DOS hardware. The docking ports were then reinforced to accommodate a 20-ton space station module based on the TKS design. NPO Energia was responsible for the overall space station, with work subcontracted to KB Salyut due to its ongoing work on the Energia rocket and Salyut 7, Soyuz T, and Progress spacecraft. KB Salyut began work in 1979, and drawings were released in 1982 and later in 1983. While the Soviets also worked on completing their Burian shuttle in early 1984, Valentin Glushko, then head of the Soviet space program, was ordered by the Central Committee's Secretary for Space and Defense to orbit Mir by early 1986, in time for the 27th Communist Party Congress. The job then fell to the Proton rocket. The Proton rocket is the workhorse of the Soviet and Russian space programs. First launched in July of 1965, Proton is a heavy lift rocket able to carry 22.8 tons to low Earth orbit and 6.3 tons to geostationary orbit. By 1977, the reliability rate of the Proton was 97%. Mir launched on a Proton-K, an upgraded version of the launch vehicle. Unlike cryogenic fuels used in Falcon 9 or Saturn V, the Proton rocket uses highly toxic, unsymmetrical, dimethylhydrine, UDMH, and nitrogen textoxide, or N2O4. These are hypergolic fuels, which ignite on contact, avoiding the need for an ignition system, and they can be stored at ambient temperatures. The Proton rocket stands 174 feet, or 53 meters tall. The first stage is powered by six RD-275 rocket engines, which look like strap-on boosters, 
but it's all one big unit. Output of thrust is 10.47 millinewtons, or 1.9 million pounds. The second stage burns the same fuel through three RD0210 and one RD0211, pushing 2.399 millinewtons, or 539,000 pounds. The third stage is a single RD0212 with 630 kilonewtons or 140,000 pounds, also burning N204 and UDMH. It was also designed to have a fourth stage, the Block D, but this was not used when launching space stations like Salyut, Almaz, and of course, Mir. It was decided that on Cosmonauts Day, the 12th of April 1985, that the flight model of the base block was chipped from the Khrunichev State Research and Production Space Center plant in Moscow to the Bankinor Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, and conduct systems testing and integration there. The module arrived at the launch site on the 6th of May with 1,100 of the 2,500 cables requiring rework based on results of the tests on the ground. In October, the base block was rolled outside its clean room to carry out communications tests. A first launch attempt in, on 16th of February 1986 was scrubbed when the spacecraft communication failed. A second launch attempt on the 19th of February 1986 was successful and met the Central Committee's deadline.